Hey guys, welcome to wpacademy.pk's video tutorials. In this video guide, we will create an education website with WordPress. Let's see what we need. Firstly, we need a theme. We will use Ocean WP. Then we need some plugins, Elementor, Envato Elements, and WP Forms, which is optional. So let's get started. Log into your WordPress dashboard and move over to Themes tab under Appearance. Now follow the steps. Now that our theme and two plugins are installed, we need final piece of the puzzle which is Envato Elements. Head over to plugins, add new. Now follow the steps. Install and activate the plugin. Okay, now we have all the tools needed to build our education website. Let's create some pages for our website. Head over to Pages tab. When WordPress is freshly installed, you got two ready-made pages. One of them is published, which is sample page, and one is available as draft, which is privacy policy. Let's publish that one. Delete this one, we don't need it. Now click on add new. Let's name this home page and hit publish. Now let's create rest of the pages. That we have created all the pages let's set home page as front page of our website head over to readings tab under the settings select home page from drop down okay we are missing one page here which is blog let's create that one
now set blog as host page perfect now we need templates for our pages you see there are no templates here let's import some head over to elements tab The fun starts here. In Vato Elements have hundreds of free templates that we can use with Elementor. We need templates related to education. So scroll down a bit. You see this education section. Click on any thumbnail to see its import window. Click import template button. The plugin is still in beta, so you might see this error. But your template is imported. Refresh this page. Or reactivate the plugin if needed. Let's import rest of the templates. We will not import all of them, just the ones we need for our pages. Let's check the imported templates, head over to Elementor tab. You see all the templates are imported successfully. Now that we have successfully imported our templates, let's set up a menu for our website. Head over to appearance menu. Give it a name. Now select the pages you want to display in this menu. Arrange them as you like. We'll set this one to main menu location. These are the menu locations supported by the theme you are using. Let's rename this one to home only. Let's create another menu. We'll use this one for footer and top bar. Now let's apply the templates to the pages. Head over to pages tab and edit home page.
make sure default template is selected we will select 100% full width page layout and disable the merchants let's disable the title as well update now click on edit with elementor okay now we are in the magic window to add a template to this page click on this folder icon you'll see elementor library window head over to my templates tab as this is home page let's insert this one Congratulations, we just applied our first template. Now you can remove the sections you don't need. An important thing, while importing a template with its document settings, it overrides the default template selected for the page. So we have to select the template again. Update this one and head over to pages tab and reload it. Now click on quick edit and select default template. Okay perfect. We got our header and footer back. Okay, now editing is super easy with Elementor. You just click on any element and start editing it right here. You will see each element's control panel at left sidebar where you can change its setting and style. Let's just play around and explore more of it. You can always hit Ctrl C if you made a mistake. Let's add a logo to your website. Head over to customize tab under the appearance. Look for header tab, click on it. We'll see logo option inside. Now select your logo here. You 
can also select a high res version of your logo for retina displays. You can adjust the logo width here. Hit publish after you are done. You can also change header style. I think we are fine with the default. You can customize the menu as well. Let's select a hover color for menu matching to our templates. display social icons in main menu enable social menu and scroll down a bit to set your social links let's go back You can adjust the top bar as well. Just uncheck if you don't need it. Let's display social icons in top bar. There is much more to explore, you can check other settings. Let's get back and have a look at our website. Hmm, I don't want this toolbar at the moment. Let's just hide it for now. social icons. Let's remove them from main menu. Okay, looks good, right? Let's apply templates to other pages.
are different type of widgets and add-ons available for Elementor that you can use on your pages. Just drag them from the left into the sections. For example, this is an image cursor. Let's add some more images into it. Is that we can change page templates here as well. After import process is completed, you will see a control panel for page settings at left side. You can select default page layout and hit update button. And it will update the page template right here so we don't have to go back and select default template for page. Now just follow the steps and apply templates to the rest of the pages. styling for this table. You can duplicate the content if needed. If you are having trouble adjusting elements to the page, you can always turn on the navigator. Pretty cool, right?
can duplicate columns as well. Just right click on any column to access its control menu and select duplicate. Okay, let's just remove this map and place a contact form here. We will duplicate this section and move it below to give our form a nice heading. Click this plus icon to add a new section here. Okay, form widget is not available in free version of Elementor. That's why we have installed WP Forms plugin. You can always use another form plugin if you like. Let's head over to our dashboard and click on WP Forms tab. Add a new form. Give it a nice name. Select simple contact form template for it. Here you can customize the fields as you like. Save the form and click embed button when you have finished editing. Copy this short code. Now move back to the page we were editing. Search for short code widget and drag it into the section we created. Paste the short code here. Good, we got our contact form. We just completed our website. Well, of course, you need some time to add actual content to the pages as it's all dummy data. 
or you can change the layout and color scheme if you like. Elementor made it super easy to build stunning websites in minutes. Even an absolute newbie can create websites with zero coding knowledge. If you like this guide, help us make more like this. By buying Elementor Pro with our affiliate link. The link is available in video description. Please ignore the mistakes that we made during this guide. As this is our first attempt to create guides in English. You can always help us with your suggestions and feedback in comments. Subscribe to our channel for future video guides. If you have not used Elementor before, check out some links in video description which are basic guides on how to use Elementor, how to create sections and other things and everything you need to know about Elementor. Happy building with Elementor!